as part of today's sample app showcase, I would like to present a sample app that highlights the interoperability between ACS and Teams over a video call. For those who are new to the term ACS, ACS stands for Azure Communication Services. They are cloud-based services providing REST APIs and SDKs as well, uh, available for you to integrate uh, a communication layer to any application that you build. Uh, this can include voice and video calling, uh, rich text, chat, and SMS as well. Uh, with ACS, you can add these features to your applications. Uh, it can be a web app, it can be a mobile app, whatever application it is. You can integrate these features easily and in a very secure and scalable manner. It comes with its own like security. It comes with its own like security layer, uh, very similar to what we have in Teams, in Teams meetings. So this is very beneficial. And you, the developers typically do not need to know uh, real-time networking, do not need to do media encoding to actually build a video call layer on top of your application. You can simply use ACS. So coming to our specific app, right? The sample app uh, that we have brings together two sets of users, two users type. Uh, on one hand, we have a citizen user who say gets on a call via ACS with no login or credentials. Uh, on the other end, we have a business user uh, who gets on the same call using Teams with their business license. So uh, the sample app uh, demonstrates a way of how these two users can get on a same call and have a voice and video, uh, a voice and video communication between them. The, the app, as I said, allows to perform voice and video call and screen share. The sample app that we currently are going to present now is, uh, has voice and video call and screen share as well. Uh, you also have the ability to have chat uh, uh, as well integrated with it, but the sample app does not present that part, but it's available as part of the SDK in case you want to build that as well. Now, as part of the app capabilities, there are two modes of operation uh, using which I will uh, demo you through the app. The first one, the first mode of operation is requesting a callback. Uh, think of, uh, uh, for, for the sake of the demo, let's take a particular scenario of a citizen user. By citizen user, what I mean is a, a regular uh, user who is not, uh, who, who might not have a Teams app or who might not have a Teams license. Uh, a citizen user uh, wants to get in touch with a support agent who is a business user, right? The business user, the support agent will typically have a Teams license or a Teams app installed or a Teams and desktop and so on. So in the request a callback, this citizen user requests a callback from the support agent. The user submits their queries, say in a website or somewhere, and then waits for the agent to get back to them. That's the first flow. In the second part, in the second mode of operation, uh, so let's say we have an impatient citizen user uh, who might have like a really urgent query, really urgent thing that they would want to get it resolved right away. Uh, so what they do is they, they this app also allows caters to those sets of users where it allows them to place a call. In, 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 instead of being reactive, the app allows them to place a call and the app itself finds a support agent who is available at the time of placing the call. So uh, both of these modes of operation is something that we can see today. In both these cases, for our purpose, we are using the ACS JavaScript web SDK. There are uh, Android and iOS SDK as well, but in this case, for the for this particular sample app, we have made use of JavaScript web SDK only. With that, I would start with the demo. Um, yeah, as you can see over here, the left side of the screen is a mobile, uh, basically a web browser opened using a mobile. And on the right side is where you have the business user. Uh, as the uh, flow starts, you have the citizen user on the left side uh, interacting in the browser. They type help and then they get like a set, uh, small form kind of fashion where they're able to enter their initial details and then a particular query that they want to ask the support agent and they click on submit on the left side. As soon as the submitted, you see on the right side, this request gets sent as an adaptive card on the right. So this is basically a team, as you can see over here, it's a team and the card with the information that you saw over here gets posted as an adaptive card. And uh, like you saw in the previous demo, the bot posts it over here. And uh, the bot, basically the ACS sample bot posts this over here. And uh, if we can imagine like uh, all the support agents are part of this particular team and channel and anyone who is available, they can click on accept and then get in touch with this particular customer.
So in this case, a particular uh, person, particular agent clicks on accept. And as soon as they click on accept, as you can see on the left side, you can see the there is a meeting join link that comes up over here on clicking of which both parties, like on clicking on the right side, the business user gets on the call on team side. Whereas on the left, if you see when they click on, when they clicked on the meeting joint link, a custom UI appears. Now this is the ACS part kicking in. So this is a custom UI where it mimics the team's joining interface, but this works completely in the web browser. So as you can see, they can enter some preliminary information, some identifying information for their name, and then uh, enable their camera and microphone, and then they'll be able to join. And uh, as they join, they uh, get they get shown on the lobby because of the org settings. Uh, they get shown on the lobby, and then this particular user would be able to admit them into the call. And as, as you can see, when they get admitted, both parties will be able to see each other once they turn on the video. Yeah. So this is ACS in action. The key point to note over here is this is completely web-based. In case you don't have ACS over here, what would have happened is uh, when they clicked on the join link on this mobile, they would have been prompted to download the Teams app and they would have to download the Teams app and then do the same set of activities. Because we have ACS integration in the web browser, uh, they are able to get on a call directly in the web browser and they did not have to download Teams app just, just throwing the call. The second flow that I was talking about is placing a call. So as you can see in this particular flow where we are placing an urgent request, the citizen user presses on place a call and they immediately get a join meeting link. So they immediately get a join meeting link. Now on the other end, what we have done is we wanted to not just show capabilities of ACS. We want to take it up a notch and also show calling and meeting bot. Now what happened over here is when they clicked on place a call, a bot came to life and then it starts calling agents in a particular order. Now, this is the profile of one agent, Mango Dev, and uh, the bot uh, proactively calls this particular person. Now, imagine Mango Dev is not at his desk, out for coffee, so the bot calls, say, 15 seconds, and then it, it goes off. It recognizes no one picks up the call, and then it would go to the next available agent. So basically, the next agent, it will, uh, it will try to ping them. So the, the first person, Mango, they didn't pick up the call. Now you have Alex Wilbur. Uh, so the bot will try to call Alex now. The same bot as is calling Alex over here. But in this case, Alex is busy. Uh, he's tending to say another customer or busy in another call or uh, busy in some other uh, work. So he decides to reject the call over here. The bot also understands when, when the call is rejected. Now it will go to the next agent. Now we have Ben Walters who is available and Ben Walters is going to uh, accept the call over here. Say Ben clicks on accept and uh, this is the basically the citizen user side of things. This is the same UI you would have seen in the previous uh, previous demo. Now in the rest of the things is very similar to what you saw earlier in the request a call uh, flow. It, the difference in this particular one is the bot does the intelligent job of finding who is the available agent, and if they're not available, it will go on to the next person and then get them together into the same uh, uh, into the same meeting. Just to show different uh, ways in this, uh, this would work. The same thing with uh, basically the same kind of like a meeting works in this space as well. Whereas here, the citizen user is using uh, the web browser in a uh, in a laptop, whereas in the previous demo, you you saw the web browser being used in a mobile. Uh, now, the same experience, everything else remains the same, just that the bot also has joined the call. So the bot has access to the media and uh, basically the video and audio streams and can listen into the call and can do any kind of intelligent stuff that you that you can imagine. Uh, say it can uh, intelligently pick up keywords and summarize the notes or proactively ping the agent before joining the call to give a summary of the customer in case you have backend integration with CRM. It can do anything under the sun, uh, the imagination, uh, basically the limit is your imagination. So this bot can be used for all of those purposes as well. Uh, but for the purpose of this sample app, this bot just does the part of call routing. Now, uh, again, uh, just wanted to be uh, uh, basically like wanted to highlight this particular part over here. As you saw, 
Uh, in this sample app, uh, we have coded it such that the bot uh, basically calls these three folks in a, in a round robin fashion. But it's up to you to decide what call routing logic you want to implement. Uh, we have graph APIs to check a person's calendar. You have graph APIs to check this particular person's available, busy, in a meeting status and all that, basically the present status. So based on that, you can implement your own custom routing logic and essentially have a call center solution built over here with this sample app as, as your base. I hope that particular part is very clear. This sample app uh, for all intents and purposes is very basic. Uh, even, with, even with all of its feature, features, it's, it's, it's just scratching the surface on what you can do. Using this, you can build a lot more uh, customization on top of it for your own customers and your own end users. So now that we have we saw all these wonderful things, just wanted to highlight what scenarios can you use the sample app for. Uh, multiple, there are different industries where this would apply. Uh, the common theme across all of these areas is this sample app is going to bring to life a lot of B2C scenarios uh, where one leg of user, one leg of communication, the user does not have a Teams license, the user is not a business user, the user will not have a Teams app installed, that's one leg, whereas the other leg has a business user who has Teams license, who has Teams app and so on. You want to bring both these parties together, then this app would be the backbone of the, uh, of the, uh, of the scenario. Now, with that crux, for a finance and banking industry, this could be a call between a relationship manager and a bank's customer, say high net worth individuals talking to a banking relationship manager. In a healthcare, the business user would be a doctor, whereas the citizen user would be a patient. In a retail, it could be anyone who does a virtual shopping, they like a product, they want to get on a call to quickly see uh, is maybe a dress on a video call and then like ask the agent to uh, some questions about a particular product. Uh, you can have it in retail as well. Uh, in insurance, again, this is going to be kind of like an insurance policy sales agent and the customer. In, even in government, you can have ACS integrated on the government's website where if uh, uh, citizens want to get in touch with the local council party members and so on and ask questions around, say, COVID or any other uh, emergency uh, things that are going on. So uh, getting in touch with the uh, business end users right from the website or right from the mobile app they are on, uh, this app would be the backbone and be extremely useful. The ACS SDK that we have used is available as part of uh, the documentation. We made use of this particular group calling hero sample to enable this and we did the magic of making it interoperable with Teams. Uh, any questions, uh, do let me know, post it on the chat. I'm happy to take it up. I hope this was useful for you and uh, really looking forward to this getting customized and uh, building more awesome apps. Awesome. Thank you, Satya. Very, very cool stuff. Uh, really appreciate the way you can uh, were concise in sharing that as well. The videos were very helpful uh, in seeing it live and in living color. Excellent. Mm -hmm.